Hey there, Blade Gang. Welcome back to this old Sword Blade Reviews. Got a brandy new one for you today that just landed an hour or so ago. Thank you to uh, Justin out at White Mountain Knives. And don't forget, Old Sword is the coupon code to get you 10% off at White Mountain Knives. This is something new from Artisan Cutlery in their budget line. <clears throat> and unlike certain other companies, they are not giving the line a new name. It is called an Artisan Cutlery. Artisan does have the CJRB line, which is their budget. But for some reason, this one did not fall into the CJRB line. <clears throat> this was released on November 5th. And I'm recording this on the 23rd. So just released. And uh, this is the 1845P. And although it's not labeled on the box, it is called the Arroyo. And the designer is Dirk Pinkerton. Little different kind of box for uh, Artisan. Top cover. Nice uh, rigid white box and look what we got inside a neat little pouch which again you seldom see with uh, the budget line at least I haven't inside here we have a card with some specs on it which is something new to me and we will hold this off to the side while we take a look at the blade And uh, truth be told, I took the little plastic bag off and I gave it a light oil job with some uh, KPL, which I like to do. And if they're stubborn, I take them apart. So let's take the pouch, put it aside, and take a look at the Artisan Arroyo designer, Dirk Pinkerton. Very famous for a number of knives with Artisan and other companies. He tends to go with kind of a useful defense uh, combat tactical sort of uh, bent to his blades. The Arroyo is no different, although it is a relatively small blade. And I can take the measurements or we can read them right here. We have uh, the model. 1845p and this is the gry i believe which is the gray kind of a blue gray i tend to like this kind of this color g10 blade steel is d2 hardness 58 to 60 rockwell and the material is g10 and uh, they are using a new blade steel which unfortunately is not listed on the box, but I'm going to get you the info right now. <clears throat> it is called AR-RPM9. And there's been a lot of speculation as to what it is, that it's somewhere between um, N690 and D2 and so forth. Um, I don't know why the card said blade steel is D2. Because if you look it up, and this is right off of uh, Artisan's website, it uh, the blade material is called, there you see it right there, ARRPM9. But if they boiled it down to it being somewhat similar to D2, that could be why they put it on this card. You have got me. But I know that the newer blade steel is making a big stir, and they're using it on uh, a new little fixed blade, which I'm going to review as well. Spoiler alert, it's called the... Uh, what is it called? Not the Sand Shark. Oh, the Sea Snake by Mike Emler. 
So that's going to be coming up next. But again, this is the Arroyo by Dirk Pinkerton. Let's take another look at it. And they aren't giving us specs on the little card, so I'm going to give you specs off the website. Blade length is 3.31 inches. Blade thickness is 2.7 millimeter. It's a flat blade grind. The blade material, again, they are saying on their website is AR-RPM9. Uh, it's an upswept style blade. The overall length of the knife opened is 7.48 inches and closed 4.12 inches. Handle material is G10. And uh, we have a ceramic ball bearing pivot. Weight is 3.53 ounces, 100 grams. And it is a liner locking type of knife. Feels very light in the hand. Let's see if we've got any weight relieving. Oh yeah, plenty. Look at that. One, two, three, four holes on that side. And we've got a few, do I see them? Or is that just a reflection? Those are reflections. We got weight relieving on the show side, folks, which is fine. It's a light knife, three and a half ounces, <clears throat> seven and a half overall, did it say? And uh, probably we'll take a little closer look first. There is uh, Dirk Pinkerton's logo. And you see there is the steel on the blade, so I'm not sure why the card said D2. There is your steel right there, AR, RPM9. And uh, it says SER serial. It's really the model number 1845P. This is not a serial number. But a nice little upswept blade, a little bit uh, on the Persian style. We got a point that stays pretty much on line with a deep continuous belly pretty sharp polished edge the clip will reverse to the left side it is deep carry we have some somewhat smooth jimping right here on the end and uh, interesting jimping design that actually works. My thumb is sticking to it. Although it's not straight down, uh, cut across the blade. It is kind of detailed into the sides, the edges of the spine of the blade. See that? Good Artisan's logo there. I mean, um, all the branding they put on it's relatively tiny, so I don't really mind. Um, is it hand filling? Well, I got a little left over. It is comfortable in the hand. I don't believe they said what the handle width was. They gave us the blade thickness. Let's take a look at the handle thickness. 0.45, so it's a somewhat slender little guy. For my comparisons today, let's put it up against something I reviewed very recently, which is the Sencut by We Sidious. Sencut Sitius. That review is out there. We got a knife that doesn't stand nearly as tall, but is exactly as long. And one of my favorite little guys, the Wee Banter, in CPM S35VN. Little, uh, probably beats these out as far as blade steel goes. And that is a shorter knife in blade and overall and in the handle. Um, Useful little knife, the uh, Wee Banter. You can check my review on that one as well. 
Now we will put one full size knife in just to give you a perspective. Let's take the uh, Benchmade Griptilian. So the Griptilian is going to be a bit longer in the blade, definitely longer by almost an inch in the handle. So let's take a look at that blade to handle ratio here. I think they did pretty well. Oh yeah. Pretty well. You could go a tiny bit more, but then you might nick yourself on the uh, tip. Common problem with knives where they a lot of, like to stuff a lot of blade into the handle. The detent on this is light, easy to fail. You might be able to tighten it up. Uh, doesn't grab it very easily at all, but you can flip it open easily. You, yeah, can't shake it open very easily at all. So despite that detent, uh, it stays in there pretty well when you want to keep it in there. What else can we say about it? This is the uh, Artisan Arroyo. Again, a model 1845P-GYF for the handle color. A uh, lot of budget knives out there these days, folks. And uh, I don't blame your frustration for those of you that have given that feedback through uh, some of the comments of the earlier knives. Yep, there doesn't seem to be any end to budget blade madness, but it's a nice little knife. Um, can't fault it in any way. I would carry it. I tend to like a larger knife, but I'd carry this in a pinch. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave some comments if you wish. Like it, certainly, and subscribe. We want your subscription. We won't let you down. Take care.